Hello everybody, my name is Ryan, and this video is going to be my predictions and theories for the Westworld se uh, season finale. We are also going to be breaking down the trailer and 11 things that you might have missed from it that I think are important. Uh, before we start, I just want to say that, that this video and also a few reviews were supposed to be up last night, but my whole town has lost power for the second time in 24 hours, so I don't think those reviews are going to get up, and I'm sorry that this video is a little late. I know I didn't promise he was coming at any time, but I'm still disappointed in myself for not getting it out quick enough, so let's... Move past that. Uh, the trailer sets up some big shit going down with Maeve, plus we will likely see William go full Man in Black this episode, and now that we know much more about what's going on with Arnold and Bernard, what do we have left to reveal? This episode should be huge because of everything we just had. It's going to be the Game of Thrones, everything's just happened, now what's next kind of episode, and I can't wait for that. What do we have left to see in this season? Let's get into speculation about the Westworld season finale and sort of season two. This is Nerd. <laughs> Getting into the trailer, let's first focus on the Maeve scenes. They look to be the most important and mysterious, and I just kind of want to talk about them the most, because we can't nail down, we, we can't nail down what's going to happen to Maeve as easily as we can say that William is going to be revealed to be the man in black. So we get to see a lot of interesting shots with Maeve. We see her and Felix going into what is likely the basement, and I say they're going to the basement because they're going down in an elevator, and later we get to see them in the basement. So, uh, I'm just assuming there that she's going to assemble a host, like a zombie host army. There are other possibilities. Remember, Clementine is still down there, so it is possible that she's just trying to go get her. Also, Bernard's body would still be down there, and Maeve knows some things about Bernard. We don't know how much. The point is, of course, you can fix Bernard. Maybe she'll get Felix to kind of repair Bernard. Again, like, he died, but he's a host, so what's death exactly for this character. We don't know. I'm hoping we'll go into that a little bit more. I'm assuming she'll come and save Clementine. Maybe they'll try and reboot her. Same thing will probably kind of happen with Bernard. I'm curious to see what Maeve's big plan is here. And I'm just kind of very interested. Uh, and the final shot here in this trailer, the most interesting one, is without a doubt Maeve leaving Westworld. And just to support, by the way, the just just adding to the multiple time frames theory, we uh, get the assumed present day Westworld logo behind her. It's not the same one that we saw when William entered the park, it is a different one. So, there you go. Just basically confirming that suspicion. So that's interesting. And will we actually get to see Maeve leave Westworld in the season finale? It looks like season two might have to deal with a robot revolution, as this could tie into other intriguing shots in the trailer. We see what looks to be a blackout in the control room, which isn't good if Ford is, for one, preparing to launch his new narrative, and especially if the heart hosts aren't following core code, and Stubbs might be in danger already. They wouldn't shut down, they might be harming him. Who knows? Stubbs could die very easily. He's definitely on Death Watch this week. We also get to see what I can only assume is a host biting someone who works at Westworld, maybe like an engineer or a butcher or something, and the reason I say that this what it looks like is because uh, I don't think this host doesn't exactly look familiar to me and neither does the person working there so I'm just kind of a I'm just kind of assuming that this last shot is a host revolting that's probably the most interesting possibility but then the last shot of the host revolting is probably the most interesting one because it's two shots and it might not be exactly as clear as what we think it is so first we see Dolores and the man in black looking at each other she looks stern and he kinda looks surprised like maybe he's trying to do something and she's going against it going against her loop so curious to see what that's gonna be and we then see the man in black without a hat getting dragged and it looks like he's getting dragged by like a woman maybe Dolores that's the most interesting thing here minor spoiler alert Ed Harris has confirmed that he is going to be back for next season, so maybe he's going to live, maybe we'll just see him in flashbacks or something, because of course this character does have a large unexplored history that we want to kind of get into, we don't know if he's going to die or not. The point is, it looks like we're going to get some interesting Man in Black Dolores stuff next week, and she might be revolting against him, which would be cool. Dolores is also seen pointing a gun at her head, but I don't think she's going to die. If any deaths in this finale, I'm expecting them to be much smaller characters, like Ashley Stubbs, uh, Logan, probably, because he's kind of marked for death, or a confirmation of Elsie's death, because we, we've seen her getting grabbed twice, we haven't seen her die yet, and I feel like the biggest reason for this is because we're probably going to have Robot Elsie, which maybe I'll talk about in a different video or later in this video. I forget the script. It's been a while since I read it. Uh, and if they did want to go for a big death, I think Ford would be a bigger fit. Anthony Hopkins is, of course, a big person on the show. I doubt they're going to kill him off, but it just seems like if you... 
it, it seems like he is the big Frankenstein here, so maybe if they did want to go for a big death, it would be him and not Dolores. Uh, moving on, we also get to see Dolores looking at her own grave, which could mean any amount of things, but I think it's Dolores partially gaining sentience and also realizing that she's died before. I think that this is going to connect a lot to the William is Man in Black thing, as well as possibly connecting to Dolores seeing herself dead in the water back in episode 8. My best guess is that William will find Dolores' dead body in the water there, there'll be a, another memory or whatever, and he'll make her grave, bury her, whatever, so my best, sketch, my best guess for what's happening when Dolores sees her own grave is that it's the man in black showing her, look, I'm William, remember me, I found you dead, here's the grave I built for you kind of thing. That's, that's kind of what I'm hoping they're building towards, but it's kind of impossible to know for sure. Unless you had a prediction video talking about Bernard Arnold. Also, interestingly, we have a shot of, of one guy, like, by himself on a horse, and we can't exactly see from that perspective, but the next shot is of William. It looks like he's on a horse. The point is that we're essentially saying, William is on a horse alone. Where's Logan? He either left him, or maybe Logan's dead. We don't know. The possibilities are limited, but... There's a lot of them that could happen, so he is alone. It feels like maybe there's something major that goes down between the two, considering that the Man in Black's daughter, the Man in Black's daughter said that the Man in Black's wife, who is Logan's sister, hated the Man in Black and like was scared of him for 30 years. So I've always kind of thought that maybe it's something that happens between Logan and William that she knew about or you know, something's going to happen there, because he's obviously somewhat of a monster. It feels like maybe uh, William leaving Logan to die, leaving him in the park, and he does die by, like, some malfunction or something. Just something where William gets out, Logan doesn't. feels like the build-up that we're having here. And that's just kind of what I'm expecting to happen in this finale. Uh, if he leaves or kills her brother to... If he leaves uh, her brother to die or directly kills him, I could see that being the build-up to the Man in Black's talked-about relationship with his wife. Well, something will likely go down with Teddy. I don't have as big of ideas for this, but as we not only see him taking the train back into Westworld, we also see Ford standing over him. So maybe there will be some big changes happening to Teddy soon. Teddy is also probably the most interesting host that we haven't exactly dived into yet. He's kind of bland because, again, he doesn't really have his own backstory, and we're just kind of learning about this host as it goes. He doesn't feel like the most developed by any means. He just feels like James, Martin's pre James Marsden's pretty face. So... We don't exactly know what's going to happen, and when he was first introduced, he was shown as ra looking to be a guest rather than a host, so I'm hoping we do go back, do go a little bit deeper into Teddy, because he's, he's probably one of the ones I'm most interested in, just because he's one of the characters who we've made least interesting. There's like Ford. What the fuck's up with Ford? Bernard's a robot. Dolores is in three different times at the same time. There's so many crazy characters here, and then there's kind of Teddy, who's sort of in the center of it, he connected to a lot of it, and I'm just kind of wondering what's going to happen, so I'm hoping we go a bit deeper into the robot mind that is Teddy. In the finale, I'm expecting a few major things to happen. I think we'll see a scene between Maeve and Ford, because I doubt Maeve is going to be successful in creating an army, at least at this point. I'm assuming she'll escape. She, I mean, she might escape, because we are very early into the show, and I, I feel like she is going to be our point of view character outside of Westworld. Yes, we have been talk we've talked about like this crazy futuristic world, like, we're not saying hover cars and stuff, but we're saying all disease has been cured. So there's some shit going on outside of this world that we don't exactly know about that I'm very interested to see what happens. So instead of creating a robot uprising or revolution or making an army of zombies, to, because that feels like a little too early for the show, she might just get out and then have in season two us actually be able to see outside of the park, which is something we haven't seen yet, we might go into the real world, beyond Westworld. I'm also expecting teases at future worlds and, you know, other new park attractions. The original Westworld movie had Medieval World and Rome World, or Roman World, so I'm assuming that maybe we'll get hints of those coming, maybe in Ford's new major narrative and the new things that he's tackling will in some way kind of hint towards that. I don't exactly know, I'm just kind of hoping towards those at this point. Also, while writing this video, I found out that there was a sequel to the Westworld movie called Future World. I don't know, maybe that'll be important, or maybe it will influence something. I'm not gonna watch it just to make this video, because it doesn't sound like it, and I didn't like the Westworld movie that much to begin with, so 
Of course, I'm also expecting we'll get a great explanation of Dolores time frames fitting together and William being the man in black. What do you think? What will Westworld what will the Westworld season finale hold? What will what cards will it show? What will it reveal? Comment your thoughts and theories down below. Give this video a like if you enjoyed and want more Westworld videos and subscribe for my weekly reviews plus predictions during the off season because I can't wait to get into so many theories and stuff now that we don't have to worry about them being trashed every week. So, subscribe for those and I'll see you all next time.